problem solving, finding the percentage. Of the 50 pupils in the subject mathematics, 60% of it passed the final examination. The question is, how many pupils passed the examination? So let us first identify which of them are percentage base and the rate to, in order to solve the problem. So 60% here given, it is the rate. 50 of the pupils is uh, talking about the whole number of pupils in the taking the examination, this is the, the base. So let us solve this problem using the uh, proportion, okay? So formula for proportion, rate is equal to <coughs> percentage divided by the base, okay? So rate is 60 is to 100. Why is it 60 to 100? So 60 per percent, percent is 100. Then percentage is unknown, so let us write N. So base is 50. So now let us cross product in order to find the N. Okay, cross product. So 50 times 60 is, okay, 3,000. So, 100 times N is 100N. Okay. So, to get N, let us divide both sides by 100. <coughs> okay. So, 100N divided by 100 is equal to N. Okay. So, divided with uh, terminal zeros, cancel out the terminal zeros. So we have here 30 divided by 1 is equal to 30. So, okay, there are 30 pupils past the examination. Finding the base. Okay, we have here a problem. In a qualifying test, John got a score of 320. This is 80% of the total item in the test. The question is, how many items does the qualifying test have? So again, first let us identify the percentage base and the rate for this problem. So we have here, so 80% considered as the rate, 320 considered as the percentage because of the word S. Okay, so to find the answer, let us use the proportion. So rate is equal to percentage divided by the base. So rate is 80%, so 80 is to 100 equals percentage is 320. Then our base is unknown, so we substitute the base as N. So to find N, so let us cruise product, okay? So N times 80 is equal to 80 N. Okay, 100 times 320 is equal to, okay, so that is 32,000. 1, 2, 3, okay, because of the three zeros to get n so let us divide both sides by 80 okay so 80 did 80 n divided by 80 is equal to n so 3000 uh, 32000 divided by 80 cancel the terminal zeros we have 32000 divided by so 32,000, uh, 3,200 divided by 8, that is 4, so 32, you subtract, so I bring down zeros, so 40, <coughs> again, 
bring down zeros, so 400. So N is 400. Finding the rate, problem solving. So if eight people share the first price of the one million eight hundred thousand pesos jackpot of a lottery, what percent of the price will six people own? So let us first identify the percent base and rate. So this one, eight people, uh, they are the total number of people who own the first price. So we will consider it as the base. And then, so six people is the number taken from the whole. So we will consider them as the percentage. So the missing is the rate. So formula for finding rate, rate is equal to... <coughs> percentage divided by the base okay so rate is equal to n is to 100 okay percentage is uh, 6 base is 8 okay so to find n so we will cross product okay <coughs> 8 times n is equal to 8n. Then, 100 times 6 is 600. Okay, to get the value of n, so let us divide both sides by 8. <coughs> 8 divided by 8 is equal to n. Okay, so 600 divided by 8, 7. 7 times 8 is 50. Okay, this is 4. So 40. So 40 divided by 8 is 5. So 40. So n is equal to 75. So n, since this is the rate, so we will accompany 75 with the percent symbol. Okay. <coughs> 